morning, AJ. Ooh, fucking arseholes. Right, I've got the first question from our lovely viewers. Right then, let's see. Sky would like to know if there's any other sordid secrets you're holding over the villagers. Oh, the lovely Sky. Thanks for your question. Well, most of the secrets have already been probed. I mean, I was fucking probed by Alf. Then, of course, there was the blue movie that saw AJ here getting into some fisting fun with Ted. I'd say that was pretty bloody sordid, wouldn't you, AJ? I don't know about fucking sordid, but it was certainly fucking sore. Yes, you couldn't ride your bike for a fucking week. But anyway, the next question's from Anne, and uh, she wants to know what happened to Mrs. Miggins, the old slapper. So, she certainly flattened some grass. Bye. Morning, Pete. Oh, Arthur, I've got a question. There's fucking rats in me van. You're a cat. How come I've got fucking... Meow. Oh, fuck. Swing for you, you fucker. Oh, morning, Pat. I'm uh, ready for my questions. Oh, Mrs. Miggins, thanks for agreeing to tell all. Oh, you know me, Pat. I love to talk. Well, I love oral. Hmm. <laughs> well, Chris Shaw wants to know how many sex toys you have. Oh, my. Too many. Pop around, Chris, and I'll show you. <laughs> Inky the cat wanted to know who haven't you had, but that question wouldn't take fucking long, would it? <laughs> So we're just going to read a question out each, is that right? Yes, and let's start with Alf, shall we? Right then. Well, this one's from David Hillard, who says, Does Pat charge for a special delivery service? Huh. I better ask the fucking wife. Ted, if you wouldn't mind. Well, this one's from Stuart, and he wants to know why there are no dogs in Greendale. I thought there were. Well, I'm sure Mrs. Megan's has got a hairy chihuahua. Right. King Timo, 69. Oh, are you on TikTok? Oh, yes, we're down with the fucking kids, all right. We are at Rude Guy Shorts on TikTok. OK, understood. Hey, fellas, according to Geo, I have a catchphrase, which is apparently... What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> nice. Hey, Ted, read that message from Aaron Meller. All right. Uh, he wants to know, has PC World ever been to PC World? Yes, I have. And it was shit. They don't sell anything for constables. I couldn't even buy a new fucking helmet. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, yes. Michael wants to know if you've been involved in any of my sex exploits, or are you still dreaming? Would you like to be? Fuck's sake. Marky Mark wants to know, did you buy the fucking fast Volvo V70? Called Super Grabs. He fucking knows I didn't, Vicar. It was too fast for me. The man's a nutter. <laughs> I feel the need, the need for a sit down. I'm a little bit worried about this comment from Zero G, Dad. I know, he said only 20 seconds in and he's dead. He said he can't stop laughing. Constable. Yes? There's been a murder. Hey, say what? Never mind. You know, I told Arthur once that Constable was female police officer's pubes. <laughs> Why won't you tell Gavo about your back alley exploits? Go on. You're his favourite character. You better get ready for this one, Jess. Gavin has written a fucking essay. Are you ready? What happened to the son, Pat Father, down to the farmer's wife, the kid with the remote control pain? The school teacher sounds like he escaped from prison. If true, where from? And for what crime? When did Jess learn to talk? Does the flea bag mug say anything else? <laughs> fucking hell, Gavin. Well, Gavin, I promise I'll answer all of those in future episodes. But first, Jess, can you say anything else? Unfortunately not. I just don't understand why Martin says that all the children in the village of Greendale look like my dad. Is it a coincidence? No, I think Martin's right. After all, your dad's a bit of a... Continuing the theme of essays from Gavin, here's the next one. <laughs> Unbelievable. <clears throat> how does Pat rate each of the ladies he's given a special delivery to? And more interestingly, how do they rate him? And as a postman, is it true he's terrible at licking stamps? <laughs> that insult kind of lingers. <laughs> Go on then. As a doctor, I might know. Well, Sharon wants to know how Mrs. Miggins keeps her pearls nice and white, and I'm guessing that's rude. Well, of course, she could be referring to the droplets of translucent semen ejaculated from the penis onto the throat, simulating that of a pearl necklace. Fuck me, you doctors are so clever. I don't suppose you've got time to look at my rash. 
Oh dear, here's one from John Jones. Mm. He said he hit the dislike mm. instead of the like, but he did have tears in his eyes. Fuck's sake. Angry Dinosaur says, this is bad. I'm not certain if I should try to enjoy it or avoid it. Enjoy it, Angry Dinosaur. You only live once. You might end up like the lovely Helen. She says, not very much online really makes me really laugh out loud. I think she means out loud. Fuck's sake. But this does brilliant. Thank you. The vicar said he was searching for tractor porn and YouTube suggested this video. Tractor porn <laughs> wants to spread his seed, no doubt. I stopped the van, you said you wanted a poo, now why can't you go? Nobody's watching. You having a laugh? Well, there you go. Thank you so much for all those questions and comments, but before we go, one last thing. Over the past couple of weeks, so many of you have sent such wonderful messages of condolence and we really do want to say a special thank you for every kind word that's been sent. It has really helped and we understand that all of us go through loss and if you are struggling at the moment, I hope that we bring a smile to your face in these tough times. After all, you have helped us get through this and we hope we are doing the same for you. We are very lucky to have you. And before we go, one last thing. We've got big news, Arthur. Uh, have we? Did I miss an email? I'm oh, shit with technology. Yes, lots of news about what we're going to be doing in the future on the channel. Have a read. Hmm? Eh? Oh, I see. Oh, exciting. It is exciting. Root Guy's been learning new software and working with an incredibly talented guy on Fiverr to create an animated Postman pack. Puppet, look! Look at me! I'm only in the early stages. Hey! I can go on all sorts of adventures. Like the moon, or maybe go to a rave, who knows? The potential is endless, isn't it, Captain America? So we can do live streams and all sorts of things. Anyway, Rude Guy would like you to know that he's working on Chop Gun and Blake 7, and yes, CGI Wars. It will be coming. He promises, he promises. I know we fucking keep saying it, but he promises. And don't forget, Pat, to mention that the channel has had over six million views now. It's amazing. I can't believe it. Wow. And if you like stats, then why not pause this and have a look at what else you watch? And the age group of the channel, dear. Oh, look, I'm in the 35s. Where everybody's from. I can't believe two and a half percent come from New Zealand. I am big down under. Oh, I know. <laughs> the oldies are the best. But the shocking statistic is that 80% of you do not subscribe. Oh, no. So please, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon. Then you'll know when we upload. Oh, like it and share it and comment. You know what to do. Thanks for watching till the very end. It means the world. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Uh, thanks for watching. Right. I think I need a poo.